Lights, please, Sheila. Yeah. Bush kid in Central Vic, and we're back at this little uh, little dwelling site again. We'll see what else we can pull out of the ground because, by gee, we found some good stuff last time. Uh, heaven knows what'll come out, but uh, whatever it is, we'll find it. All right, enough yabber. Let's get on with the job of looking in the soil. All right, we'll dig this one together. That's it. You can hear this. All sorts of buddy targets. You can hear, almost hear, you can hear the um, threshold breaking with all the stuff that's under there. But that's our target right there. So let's see what it is. Might be another washer maybe Ugh. who knows i've shifted it i thought it was gold for a tick see the gold yeah it's a bloody worm thing oh i can see it oh yeah there we are there we are oh she's a button and it's a button with writing underneath Right, let's have a clean up and we'll see what we've got. Well, this is one of the rarer type. There we go. This is on the back. Howard and Dawes, London. And who did they make that for? Well, I'm glad you asked. They made that for M. Colgan, C-O-L-G-A-N, of Bendigo. That I half reckon is my first Bendigo button. I'm really, really wrapped with that. It's not often you get the, the double bangers. And double bangers with such good writing. That's bloody brilliant. Ah, that's, that's really good. So there you go. The humble, boring button is a very real piece of social history. Lights, please, Sheila. I just want you to listen to the ground that I'm in. Now, I've already been over this. Anything you sort of get good vanishes but I do have one signal I can make that one repeat with the others it's like it'll go one way it won't on the other you go 90 degrees and it won't come back and and you go to walk away from it and it bloody goes off again. So, this will probably be another button I would half assume. But I could be wrong. Oh no, there it is. There it is right there. And it was. But, 
at least, oh, yeah, that one's got writing on too. At least we found something. That was a solid tail. All the rest of it can start to do your head in, which is why sometimes you've just got to let it wash over you. You'll know when a target, when you get one that's right, because it'll just sing. It'll sing in every direction. And all those other pieces are plip plop all through there. <sighs> Pretty bad for you. Pretty mind. But anyway, we'll clean this up, dodge the mozzies, and we'll keep going. Well, we're right on it for the buttons today. Look at that. That's an improved patent. Just in case you didn't know. And who's this one for? Well, this one is for John Gott, G-O-T-T, -T, Kendall. There we go, Kendall. Now, whether that's his last name, like John Gott Kendall, or the place Kendall, of which I've not heard of. Anyway, I dare say we'll find that out in time. Just down there, 15, a couple of bars down. What about that? You can see the gold on it, but this, you can see, there we go, you can see the little flower part on the inside of it. It's only a popper or, a, yeah, popper stud thing for probably some piece of, of uh, clothing, but um, there you go, look at that. It's a cute little piece. We'll keep going. Cool as all get out. Look at that. Ah, oh, still part of the wooden fragment there. There we are. A three prong fork. That's an oldie. And that is cool. Oh, it's a ripper. I've never found one like that before. Very, very pleased with that. Even with the old wood, or what's left of it. Huh. All right, we'll keep going. Well, here I am playing in the plip plop. We've got this. sorts of stuff but yeah the numbers I don't mind who knows what we'll have multiple coins spilled I don't know might just be buddy but they are good numbers the ants that I've just disturbed aren't happy And we've lost it. Ooh. Okay. A tricky little operation. You rotten blackguard. Look at that. What else gives such a thumping buddy signal? <sighs> All right. We will put everything back. Well, a really nice 1718 down there. Got me this. That's, I'm not going to be surprised if that is the likes of a thrippens. It's been emerald sanded ground down. It's it's got lots of markings on it. There we go. We can see all that, but there's no no detail. So what it is, I don't know. I reckon it's silver, but. 
how it got to be like it is, I don't know, but it's an interesting little piece anyway. So we will take it, and probably when we get home, I'll put it through some electrolysis. If it comes up silver, well, it's silver. Yeah, interesting little find. tiger blade in pulled up and just under the moss was this and that is part of a padlock but what is even more cool is that we've got the key cover there well, I'll probably take that home and be able to clean up the key cover and maybe even see what brand it is they're always a cool little find well, this is cool out of that hole 17 signal. It was fairly constant and said, yes, that's what I am. That's what it is. It's a little bit of sunlight there that's left. But when we turn it over, it's got that. I would not be... Oh, that's a bloody lion. I wouldn't be surprised if that is some sort of weight. Whatever that measures. But that's beautiful. I've not found one that small that's amazing very very happy with that well here are numbers that we like the look of look at this and not deep either are we looking silver or is it just going to be the likes of a bloody rove and rivet who knows, but we're going to find out. It's making noises like it's still in the hole, so that's interesting. What's that thing? interesting mm. who knows what that is but that's our target all right i'll take it home we'll give it a clean up we'll see what it is well i was on the way back to the ute but going in a roundabouty fashion because i really didn't want to go and i ended up up the top of this hill here now it's probably going to be won't be the best of shots but i want you to look at the ground because i've just spotted something though over there where the sheep are is a bit harder if we come in there there there, where are we now? There. I have spotted one around the corner. But see those... Oh, my finger. See those darker green patches there? Now this is a downhill slope. From there, right there. And then there's one up there where the sheep are. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. They... And you can only sort of do this at certain times of the year. See, the grass is greener. It's not that it's on the other side. It's just greener. You can really see it there and here. But what that is, is this is telling us, in fact, we can get a good look at that one now. See the indentation long ways, as well as the flatness that way. 
that's a probably a, a tent site this one's a tent site you can see the more stones than that could have been for the chimney where the sheep are where are the sheep there they are you can see there that it it scallops out again that's a flat spot for putting a tent didn't need much to scrape out to make it flat but over the years water's run in there put more soil back into it again but that's how the water is actually staying there and making the grass look greener and when your grass is green like this you should be looking around all your all your usual haunts that you you detect whether they be in a paddock where you know there's been no house whether you're in the gold fields like i am um it just gives you that little bit of knowledge to go oh geez i hadn't noticed that before there's a flat spot there and if there's a flat spot there then potentially that was where a tent or a small dwelling was uh signs of habitation and you should be able to find stuff now i know that down in the coffee bush down there there's glass everywhere never quite knew where it was from it was just today that i've come up here after i've been detecting the old little house site there and that's what we found so look out for these places when you're out detecting and uh in fact i'm gonna have a bit of a swing here I, I did nip back to the ute and because it's such beautiful big wide open area there we go i've put the 12 uh the 15 by 12 mine lab coil back on i'm going to open up uh my settings to, from one up to 40 i'll probably drop my recovery speed back to five iron bias at zero i reckon we'll do that and we'll see what is actually in the ground at these great little sites hopefully we'll get something really snazzy anyway enough you ever let's get into it wow I found shoddy pellet, uh, shoddy ends and bloody a pocket knife uh, remains and everything like that. And then I get this signal. Uh, yes, this is great. No, no, it's not. It's got a bloody shank on the back of it. It's about thrippant size. What is interesting, though, of course, is that it's got that dimpling in it. But um, yeah, not really what we're looking for. We'll see if we can find something else of interest. Well, deep in the coffee bush, down on the low side of where those buddy uh, camping sites were, I have found this. It's just a little surface find, but it would have been a dainty thing. There we go. Look at that. Just sitting on the top. That is a keg tap... Uh, um tap top of the tap twisty bit the twisty turny bit at the top that's what that is to use its proper technical terminology anyway i reckon we might call this the last one mozzies are bad hay fever's getting bad i'm i'm at where i've been playing around because oh, i'm playing around you can see how much how short the grass is the bush is bloody, is, there's grass nearly waist high out in it all. So I've come back to where sheep graze and they keep the, the grass all short for me. And there's enough coffee bush here for me to live up to my buddy name. And I've got the six inch coil on, which is my want. I've actually got, uh, there it is, field one, one and above. Now, I got a 13, 14 signal. Oh no, sorry, 12, 13 signal. Down in there, it was three bars down. So you go, yep, 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 that's all good. Well, there's an E, and there's that. Actually, I'll show you this side first. It's a suspender buckle, right? See the, the buddy lug there with the hole in it? There's another one here. Now we'll turn it over. Three little spiky bits to hold on. I've never seen anything like this. Can we see what this is? That's a snake. That is a snake suspender buckle. You can see it's all curled around everywhere and around. And how cool is that? 
Nice. Up here with the with the uh, 15 by 12 coil, and there was just so many signals under it because it was so big. But I've managed to buddy just sniff out in amongst a whole lot of stuff. This one. So I am really, really wrapped with that. That's a beautiful little piece of pressed brass. Anyway, we will keep going and see what else we get. Well, there's where I got my snake uh, suspender buckle. Now to this hole here, we've got this piece of flash shiny. I don't know what it was for, but that's been silvered at some point. What I can tell you is that it wasn't meant to twist, so it's got a square shank there. There's been a bolt, oh, sorry, a nut, more than likely a washer on the other side of that uh, to hold it in position. We've got this little luggy piece here which would have guided something and just a flash bit on top. No idea. If you know, let us know. But regardless, that's that's a cool bit of something. You know, we'll keep seeing what else is in the ground that the, the little old six inch coil can sniff out. Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, now this is a weird signal. Do it now. Got the 23 there, but it was also going up into the 30s. There we go. It was only going as high as 32. Now that I've seen 39, I'm going to say that it's bloody steel. But it's only small. So what we'll do is we We'll dig it. We'll see what it is. Is it a token beside a nail? Who knows? Rusty stuff doesn't look good, does it? There we go. Rust. It did give an interesting signal. Sometimes you just got to dig it to prove to yourself that, yes, it is iron or steel or whatever. I wish that one was. Anyway, we'll keep moving. 12, 13, 14. There we go. A link. Well, I've never found one like this before. Because that is lead. Never found lead like that before. Someone's done it for a reason. Anyway. Interesting. Let's see what else is interesting in the ground. Well, I reckon that's about me done for the day. We've done the house site there. We've done this little bit of embankment. We've done just down in front, which may well have been a garden going to the, to the road. I've done up around in there. I've come back and I've done where I got the uh, token with the 15 by 12 coil. And I've done a little bit up in there. Now, I've only gone, you know, one way overlapping as I go. I'm sure that if I came back and went the opposite way at 90 degrees, I'd probably pick up a couple more things. But, you know, for the day, it's been a glorious day. It's been a great time out. Found some magnificent things, you know. I know we've got one piece of silver, potentially three. We've got a token. Ah, oh, we've got all sorts of stuff. 
it's hard to do an outro with bloody vehicles going by but anyway <laughs> here's another one look at them go head on them like bloody mongolian racing tadpoles anyway i think the traffic lights must have changed it's been a nice time out done it with the six inch coil found some good stuff so keep in mind always good to fill in some of your day detecting but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished and we'll catch you next time